welcome to the MBS show, episode number 244. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and welcome to the first episode of the new year. Uh, joining me today is Wills. Hello, Norman! Hey there, man. How are you doing? I'm doing splendiferously happy Dubo Day! Uh, happy new year, man. Happy new year to you, too. I've taken my medication, as you haven't noticed. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, also joining us is Lurker Cat. Hey guys, and happy new year. Yep, happy new year. Cat, how are you doing? I'm doing good. What about you guys? Mm, good, good. Oh, just splendiferous person who is a cat. <laughs> uh, also joining us today is Twilight Genesis. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? No. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> uh, he's getting one year older. He's getting old. He's going to be dead soon. It'll be arthritis. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, awesome. So, first episode of the new year. Um, I thank everyone for being on, and I also thank everyone for listening in. Uh, I'm glad to be there for you all for your entertainment of the week. So, talking about entertainment of the week, let's jump into, well, news. Um, I don't dilly dally because, well, what can we say? We just start our new year. What, what can we say? Um, maybe that the new year has good news and already good things for it. True, true, true. And breaking kayfabe for a bit, we're recording this on New Year's Eve, so, <laughs> we're not even in the New Year's yet. <gasps> uh, but anywho. <laughs> Two of us are pretty damn close though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, uh, starting out with first news is new lineup of 2017 McDonald's Pony figure is coming. So it seems that, well, New Zealand is going to be the first country to be getting them pony toys first. Dang, New yeah. Zealanders. All of the main five. Yep. So coming next month, or well, technically the start of January, uh, their new Happy Meal toy is going to be the Transformers and Ponies. Well, Transformers is for another cast, but uh, for pony figures, we get Rainbow Dash, Princess Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, and Rarity. So, best of the top five ponies out there, yes. It's not fair. There are some people who are going to be very This is not fair, man. They don't have best background pony. Oh, you mean Derpy? Yeah. They don't have prettiest pony. Oh, you mean Coco Pomel? No, no, no. no. The, the, the orange one. The slightly obsessive one oh. in the country. Oh, oh you Apple mean Jack. Starlight Glimmer? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that one. Her. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was a But no, I was saying, I was saying it's unfair because New Zealand, I mean, they get it first. That's unfair. What makes them so special? I mean, they already have freaking Lord of the Rings. What do they need more ponies for? <laughs> it's it's the same know. off the Australian invasion. <laughs> they just, they, they offer, they'll offer up the toys to keep us uh, in check. That stop you using the emus on them. Uh, no, the emus do what they want. Oh, uh, there's no stopping them. Yeah, there's no stopping the emus. There was a whole war that I think Australia lost to them or something. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, I'm pretty so, sure it was like two wars, but two oh jeez. So basically, you guys, you want the pony toys. So if New Zealand gives you the pony toys, you can give them to the emus, and the emus leave everyone alone. Is this the plan? No, the emus won't care. They'll take the, they'll, they'll they'll invade, take the toys, and then run away. They're like Mongols. <laughs> Can we try yeah, befriending the emus? Uh, we, we have. We they have, you know when you befriend them, they're very friendly. They like ice cream. Awesome. We'll get on really well then. Then we can take over the world. The next step is to befriend the cassowaries. That's not. Oh, oh no! I choose life. Man. I choose life, man. No, no. If you want a real challenge in, in Australia, it's befriending a spider. Oh, no, we friend them all the time. Just, uh, yeah, they just hang around, chilling. Oh, yeah. I think the only way I'd befriend uh, a spider is by, at the, with a newspaper rolled up repeatedly. <laughs> uh, You'd have to be a really big one for an Aussie spider. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just get the New York Times. You hit them with the paper truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, with, with them New Zealand pony toys... uh. It seems that, well, uh, we'll be getting some stationaries. It looks like Twilight will be having some kind of notebook. And I'm not sure about Fluttershy, but yeah, this pony toy looks pretty cool. It looks like Fluttershy is one that looks like a, a sticker printer or something like that. Something like that. One of those tape sticker things. 
I just like how Pinkies is like, all of my legs are stiff. They're all sticking straight out. Used too much starch. <laughs> uh, but still, uh, this is the Pony Toys 2017. Uh, well, at least if you want to map out something, you can use the notebook, I think. And talking about maps, uh, some cool fan made a map of Equestria. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, we've had a lot of fan made and official made maps. Uh, this one tends to go, it is a fan made one, of course, but it goes for the realistic mm-hmm. aspect, like, you know, if Equestria had Google Maps. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but still, I do like how they do this, uh, how they, what you call this, um, made, made, made it, because it seems really official, like, um, when you use Google Maps or whatever it is, and the positions of stuff, yeah. I can buy it, like Cantaloupe being close to Ponyville and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if it's a, just a short sight away from it. Personally, I love how, you know, Starlight's Village is just, when they said it was in the middle of nowhere, they literally meant it's in the middle of freaking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Which begs the question of why they're all the way out there. Eh, privacy. Puritans. <laughs> but I do really wonder how close do they uh, follow this. Remember they have the... um table map thing, so I, I do wonder. Well, they probably went off uh, probably all the cutie map uh, interactions and the official map for Equestria, which is more so a stylized map than anything. So, mm-hmm. it's, it's all so, guesstimates. Yeah, I mean, everything has to be guesstimates, like uh, there's none, there's no official one out, like, I mean, a really really official one to this level. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think Hasbro ever really will make an official topographical map of Equestria. Well, if it's not by them, it could be by the D&D makers, probably. Oh, yeah, probably if the, well, since Hasbro does own Winds of the Coast and they are making a pony D&D game. Who knows? I'd imagine they would do a map if for that. Yeah. So, Twy, what was the possibility of getting a map by them? Like, is it high, low? Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely high. If they're doing a D&D I'd game, they'll good. have to produce uh, at least a localized area map to give uh, locations and idea of topography yeah, for a game. Chance. Hmm, all right. I, I hope it does, though, if they do if they do one, they don't just do a simple of the map like this one. I hope they do a, a world map as well. Actually, it would be fun to actually see whether or not the fan theory is true or not. There's a, a fan theory going around since there's only been, like, a couple globes, but, like, that Equestria actually is flat. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. Can't get away from the flat earthers, even in a fictional land about unicorns. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, would be fun if it was like that. Like, yeah, reason the whole sun, moon just rise and set. It's because the world's flat. Yeah. Would be interesting. It does make sense. Uh, but Steph, what's your take on this? I do not have a take. It's pretty. I like it. I would go with this map. That's it. Would you hug this map? I would hug this map. Would you make love to this map? Maybe. Oh, wow. Well, talking uh, talking about maybes, uh, some wild speculation from a fan says that Season 7 will have 26 episodes. And as usual, going to be on Spring, only on the Discovery Family. Wow, that's actually kind of, that's kind of quick. I usually won't put these kind of speculative things out there, but Nikon Floon uh, says, I don't think you've ever been wrong. So, yeah, <laughs> seems believable. Right, spring. Hopefully it's late spring. When is spring? Well, spring technically starts uh, in March. Yeah, so it will be autumn for us, Norman. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So that's how close it is. Uh, season... Four and five, no, five and six had the same thing. Season five ended really late in uh, 2015, and then season six was scheduled for spring, and then jumped forward like a good month and a half to the end of March, which shocked everyone. That was great for me, because I got to have my pre- <laughs> the premiere and my birthday in the same night. <laughs> Yay! It was it, it sucked for all the reviewers though and the analysts because it's just like we're not even caught up yet. What the heck? Stop! <laughs> uh, you you say that, but I'm looking at my files here and yeah, we, we're on a, we're just 
reach on file episode 22. So, yeah, that's going to be... Yeah. I think, well, at least I... I think you're going to have to bump up the yeah, review yeah. show a little, man. I think we're going to have to start reviewing going faster. <laughs> you just talk faster. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to do quick fire. Quick fire is not fun. Oh, no, don't do quick fire. We'll just do more episodes, more recording. We'll never leave. Eve. We'll just lock ourselves in the room and record for hours on end. Well, to be honest, you never left the dungeon. Oh, that's why it's not fun. Yeah, but still, 24, sorry, 26 episodes, that's per usual. And 26 episodes is usually um, reserved for those good shows. So yeah, 36 episodes. Ahoy! Yeah, I, I think go. a lot of people were getting excited about 26 episodes because uh, some people were speculating we might get another half-length season, like season 3. Yeah, but the caveat with the half episode with uh, season three, uh, it was all wrapping up for syndication because it was the perfect amount of numbers. But now since Ponies is making big bucks and it's 2017, the movie's coming out this year too. So yeah, why not just continue on the hype train? Always continue on the hype train. Indeed. Gosh, that just made me realize... If we're having a new season, we're going to have a new season of Pony and a movie in the same year. And not just like an Equestria Girl spin-off movie, but an actual honest-to-God movie. Yes. Plus the three Equestria Girls specials. And yeah, which, which will be like, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be like sh- like 25-minute specials or something. Or yeah, they've been specials. confirmed to be about that long. But the, no one, ha- they haven't said whether or not we are not getting a fifth Equestria Girls movie, so... As far as I'm aware, that's still potentially on the table as well. True. I don't mind having another Equestria Girls movie. It'll be Equestria Girls, the SAT test. I just think it would be Equestria Girls, the setup for yet another thing. It's all, it's all Equestria Girls has ever felt to me. It's like Equestria Girls, the first one, the setup for an alternate universe. Equestria Girls 2, the setup for more magic and more adventures. Equestria Girls 3, the setup for twi- for the science fiction Twilight in a rival school, Equestria Girls 4. They set up for some superhero spinoff. Ooh, and then this Equestria Girls 5, the reveal of the real Sunset Shimmer. Ah, uh, I hope so. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Equestria Girls that. 5, the search for more money. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have these as legit titles uh, now? I like them better than the actual ones. <laughs> no, I don't think Hasbro yes. will see that. <laughs> Well, that's what they're going to be in my mind anyway. They'll just be like, which film do you like? Oh, I like the setup for more magic and adventures. <laughs> oh, wow. That's going to be confusing. Everyone will get it. Everyone will be on board. They're probably all thinking yeah, the same probably. thing anyway. Yeah, you're right, Seth. Everyone will be bored. I like it. <laughs> I'm like the only person who likes Equestria Girls, I find. I don't mind. Uh, I like it too. I don't like making fun of it. <laughs> See, we all like it. In our, in our own different ways. In our own different ways, yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, so anyway, that's the news for this week. Thank you for listening. So, mm, it's too soon. Like, I don't know how to say this, but, well, starting off the new year, usually there's the whole traditional New Year's resolution thing, but I don't think we do do New Year's resolution, do we? I did. I've already started did. mine. What did you do? Oh, what did you do? I have quit soda, and I will not drink another drop of soda until my birthday in April. Ooh, I've also wow. started uh, every other day since I work in a hotel. I have free access to the pool after work. So every other day, I'm basically going for an hour swimming to uh, get an exercise. Ah, nice. that's good. Full body workout. I've, already, I've already been doing that for the past week, so... Wait, but that's my resolution. Is your pool an indoor pool? Indoor, yes, of course. Oh, okay, because it's snowing, so I was just wondering, like, what oh the yeah, hell? yeah, that's it's hardcore. 80, it's, so nice it's, 80 de- <laughs> it's eighty degrees inside, but like negative thirty outside. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, okay. At least we won't. Okay. Um. It's like it's like it's like thirty C inside and negative fifteen outside. Yeah, scald that. Swim inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least we won't get a popsicle of you. But don't worry. I am, I'm the best kind of popsicle, popsicle everyone wants to lick. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. It's really sense of humor like that. Uh. You would fit down right here. <laughs> 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 
Whoa. Uh, but Steph, what about you? Any resolutions you want to do? Uh, uh, I haven't thought of any. I know whenever I try to do them, I always end up failing. So now it's just like, don't be. <laughs> that's not a word. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that, 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 I mean, that's the most unrealistic one there. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I tried though. <laughs> Do something uh, simple, like, I don't know, try and exercise more, or eat more vegetables, or... Or find a unicorn, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do, do, wait, wait, you should say, try not to find a unicorn, and you'll find one. Nah. See? Opposite. Still not find one. Well, you, you probably still have a hope, finding one. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hope. Alrighty then. So, Toy, what about you? I don't really do resolutions, but uh, I am attempting to see how long I can go without drinking alcohol in 2017. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all about the drinking. Yeah, well, it, it's, right. it's going to mess with a lot of people's heads down here because I'm very well known for <laughs> drinking to the point where when I posted about it on Facebook, a lot of people scoffed <laughs> at the yeah, idea. Yeah, this comment. Prove them wrong, my friend. Oh, I, I intend to. And all the money I'm saving is going straight to my funds for Sea PonyCon, Bernie Scoffs, and if they get around to actually coming up with more announcements, PonyCon AU. Oh, well, good luck with that. An alternate all universe PonyCon was not only figured out transdimensional travel, but started setting up conventions there? I mean, Australia is like an alternate universe for most of you. You know, that Dangerous, wild, hot. Oh, you're talking about my ex then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, nice one. Uh, well, I do hope you keep to your resolution for that one, uh, Toy, because it's a really good one. Yeah, I hope you keep to it as well. And as for me, well, besides making more content, I don't know. I said this last year, but I haven't done any of it. So I'm going to try it again in hopes I do something. Post more videos, like real videos instead of audio logs. So yeah, probably do more videos. I did record something with Overwatch, so probably that will be posted on my personal channel. I guess, it's nothing too fancy. Just loot box opening. But uh, besides that, um, like Steph, be a nice guy. And probably do something with... Um, Discord. Just don't holler at the moon. Uh, so, anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. Uh, for me, I'm at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about stuff. I don't know. Um, food to be most of the time. Uh, what about you, Wills? Where can the people find you? If you want to find things that I've written, you can find me on Film Fiction at Will is in at Film Fiction. If you want to find posts about D&D, silly things, or me making fun of people who are not that intelligent, you can find me on Tumblr at Will is in on Tumblr. And if you want to see my art where I draw ponies and other cute, adorable things, you can find me at Will is in at DeviantArt. Yay. Steph? You can find me on LurkerCat.DeviantArt.com. That's it. Awesome. And you do great art. People should follow you. Should stalk you. Oh, no. Lurk the lurker. <laughs> no! It would be like a paradox then. I would be on lurker cat. I would just be seen cat. <laughs> oh, no. That, that can be good. I'd have an identity crisis. It'd be funny, though. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Anyway, uh, Twy, what about you? I've got my YouTube channel, Two Pints Plays. If people want to see me put up really dull videos, because my voice is terrible. And I will not take anyone's word against that. Uh, but <laughs> also if they want to read anything that I write, which is a lot more entertaining, uh, I have Twilight Genesis at DeviantArt and on Film Fiction. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Midnight underscore Pint. I mostly tweet out other people's tweets. That's a good uh, use for Twitter. Like, I don't use Twitter that much, so I got no idea what I do with it. Uh, I, I link it to Instagram, so whenever I post something, it links to it. So, yeah. yeah. I tweet out when I make new content, but comparatively, I retweet other people's stuff to raise awareness for other people's live streams and all that. Ah, and I thank you for that one, man, because you've been tweeting or uh, retweeting my stuff a lot. Ah, no problem. 
And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. And if you didn't know, we have this thing called the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Songs, talking about pony episodes, pony comics, and general discussion about movies. Rarely there's a game, but usually about movies and other things. If you want to hear Silver Quill torture Sapphire about how young she is and make her feel inadequate with her age, it's always over there. That's such horrible, Yay. Norman. <laughs> but it's funny. Well, have you... <laughs> Yes, that is also true. And you should listen. It's fun. <laughs> Will's been there. He's experienced it. Hey, I love joining you guys for that stuff. It's a it's a blast. <laughs> yes, it's it's an out of this world experience. You can only experience it if you listen to it. Isn't that right, Will? Yeah, and who knows? Maybe one time, eventually, the audience will be able to eventually hear me and uh, Silver have a pun off again. <laughs> oh, we need to add Robin that. Yes. And oh, before I forget, maybe around March, the show will have a slight change in how it's going to be um, hosted by uh, the iTunes. I don't know. Um, once I've done everything on my end to make it work, the transition will be seamless. If not, I'll report back later. But anywho, I have been Norman Hendo. I have been Will Eisen. I've been Twilight Genesis. And we'll guide you next week. Oh, huh. uh, well, let's see you next year because I think it's going to be... Okay, anyway, I'll see, we'll see you guys later. See ya. See ya. Bye. Okay, three, two, one.